First at four, Providence police have made two arrests tied to a recent pro-Palestine vandalisms throughout the city this week. Thanks for joining us here at four. I'm Kim Kalunian. And I'm Kayla Fish. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joins us live from District Court where the two RISD students were arraigned. Matt. Kayla Kim, both Maggie Wing and Finch Bryant held on $1,000 personal recognizance. Seen leaving the courthouse earlier this afternoon. What's your name? Two RISD students in front of a judge this morning. After police alleged the two were caught on surveillance video, spray painting free Gaza and kills kids on Defense Technologies headquarters, Textron. Complaint charges in one count the allegation you willfully and maliciously damaged the property at 40 Westminster Street. St. Fax? Yes, Judge. Thank you. Supporters of the RISD students with a lot to say leaving the courtroom. Joan Three but as Bryant and supporters left the courthouse, the response? No comment. No comment. A police affidavit alleges on Monday, Wang and Bryant caught on camera, spray painting free Gaza in red. Eight minutes later, RISD Museum also vandalized. Two days later, police say surveillance cameras caught the two suspects vandalizing Textron again with red paint. After vandalizing the property, police tracked the suspect's vehicle throughout the city, leading them to the RISD parking lot, eventually capturing the two on camera with the following. A red spray can, uh, spray paint can and a stencil uh, with red spray paint residue around the stencils. Based on this information and surveillance footage, detectives do an arrest warrant. RISD releasing a statement to 12 News stating in part, we do not tolerate unlawful behavior of any kind on or off campus. Textron also releasing a statement reading in part, Textron appreciates the swift response. And both Wang and Bryant are due back in a courtroom on November 15th. Reporting live in Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.